Hello YouTubers, this is Zach. I'm back for another episode of Vintage Diecast Restoration. And today, I, I think I've mentioned this a couple times before, but uh, I live outside of Kansas City and we are very lucky in Kansas City to have this awesome place behind me. This is the National Museum of Toys and Miniatures. And today, I'm with my oldest two kids who start school tomorrow. So this is our last day of summer freedom and we are gonna go check out the museum. So you guys starting on the scavenger hunt? Yeah. What's the first question? Well, the first question is, the miniature studio Gubbio flew through time and landed, and landed in Resence, Italy. You will have to fight the owner of the Gubo Palace to get it back. What was his name? Okay, so that's what we gotta look for. Even these matchbox replicas of their expensive big brothers start life like that at a Hackney factory. But let's go back to the drawing board stage. They might finish up as two-inch models, but there's no lack of detail when the designer sets about his task. Collectors, as well as children, buy these toys, so he has to make sure that all the trimmings have that authentic touch before the prototypes can be carved out of wood. They're five times too big at this stage, because that makes it easier to see if some small but important feature has been overlooked. A mold is made, and then it's time to scale it down to that familiar matchbox size. It's done with a pantograph, employing all the patience and precision of a surgeon at the operating table. The ladles of molten metal take us nearer to that production line. 
just a few casts at first, but they build up until 80 million a year are rolling along. It's a far cry from the days when the first one, a replica of the Coronation Coach, sold a sensational million in 1952. accessories to be fitted. In this case, plastic wheels and seats. And that's a sort of motor mechanics job without the normal dirt and grease to worry about. I think this window here must be toys from the 80s because these are all toys I had when I was a kid. These are the Hot Wheels racetrack with the loop-de-loops. I had that. Did you have a Coaster, candy land. Did you see the tractors in the back and the Tonka trucks? Yeah. Those are all toys I played with when I was a kid. Look at the spaceman up there. I think that must be it. Yeah, it's a G.I. Joe. Legos, that castle kit, I think I even have that castle. This is more Matchbox. This is the um, Matchbox motorway. Really? These were, uh, you could buy these tracks and you could take your Matchbox cars and fit a little thing on the bottom and they would drive around the motorway. Wow. Except I think they've got the wrong name. It says Fred Connor, and I think it's actually Bonner. You've got some of these. Oh, look at the Star Wars, man. Battleship. Look at that. The hey, that looks familiar. Yeah, that looks way familiar. We just picked up one of those, didn't we? Yeah, you know, looking at that one, looks like we were, we're missing some stuff. That's missing the sticker on the top. You got a giant sticker. With the parking spaces. But I had one that looked just exactly like that at my grandma and grandpa's when I was growing up. You also have different cars for it. Oh, well. Hey, Micah. These are micro machines. Micro machines, yeah. Polly Pockets. I've got a bunch of those. There's Polly Pockets. There's My Little Pony. Pound Puffings. Talk to Uncle Austin about Power Rangers. That was after me, but he was in there. Hey, look, Pokemon. Oh, this was cool. Mind Flex. The Crossfire. Crossfire is another really fun game. You shoot those little balls back and forth at each other. <laughs> Except about 20 minutes after you opened it, you couldn't find half the balls. <laughs> Funny. There's the Cowboys and Indians. Look at the marks. Wow. Drive in. Oh, so cool. That is cool. Hey, Dad, did you have concentration? Concentration? I don't concentration. think we had concentration. We had Chinese checkers, though. That was at Grandma and Grandpa's house, too. Look at those. The Howdy kids. Doody. Clara, that's from an old uh, TV show. Howdy Doody, Clarabelle, and Princess Summer. And a rector set. Oh, that was a big one, because you could build the Ferris wheel on that one. Hot Wheels. This is pretty cool. That looks like maybe a complete Sweet 16 in there.
I can appreciate them just because they're die cast. I don't collect the Hot Wheels, but I know there's a lot of people that do. I think, God, look at that back row. I think there's one of every single color of that model that's probably ever been made. Pretty neat little collection here. And they got the uh, play sets down here with them too. What do you think, guys? It looks awesome. Do you see that huge marble collection? It's a pretty cool place, isn't it? Yeah. So, if you ever get to Kansas City, or check near this Kansas City, out. it's pretty cool, huh? Mm-hmm. you got to check this place out. Hey, look. There's your original Barbie, the very first one up there at the top. Yeah, the faces look way different now. I think your grandma probably had some of these. Mm. Believe it or not. My great-grandma? No, your grandma, your nana. Mm -hmm. Cool.